guys, welcome back to the channel. The biggest problem today is trying to decide how to make these mics look better because this is ridiculous. <laughs> and so that's our problem today. But this is our Hard Enduro Cross Trainer. I'm finally keeping one. So we've been teasing you guys for like six months now. I get one in, I took one to Florida, we rode it, and then I sold it because that's what we do, retail. So finally, this is like one of the last ones we can get for the year. And so what we're gonna do, this is a 2023 Cross Trainer. We haven't even ridden it yet. We literally, um, put my tires on it and that's it. So this rim set is off of another bike. I don't want to trash the stock rims on this. We don't need to do that. But this table of stuff is what we're going to do today. It's super windy by the way, so sorry. If you want to come in a little bit with a camera. I've got Chris running it for me. He's helping me out. And so this is our table of goodies. This is the start of the hard enduro build. So first thing we're going to do today is the boys and rad valves. And we're going to do this in two different bikes. We're going to do the cross trainer and we're going to do Danny's 252 stroke behind us. So we can get a new bike feel plus a bike that's a 2022, right? We'll do a 2022 as well. That'll be one video. Oh, so I'm gonna split this up into separate videos because I don't want it to be a one hour long video. I don't want to edit that. So this intro is gonna be used for like four different videos. So first video is gonna be the rad valves. Second video is gonna be the air filter on the cross trainer because uh, the air filter cage that comes stock on these 2023s is super restricted. I wanna do a really short, quick video, like do we feel the difference on this? So it's gonna be its own video with a new air filter. Um, third video is just gonna be about us installing the new exhaust. So this is the upgraded FMF exhaust for the cross trainer. The stock pipe is super detuned. So going to the hard enduros, we wanna have the most power that we can. So we're gonna do that. And while we do the exhaust, we're gonna re-jet it because right now it's got like a 145 main and we want it to have a 165 main. So those are the three or four different videos we're gonna do. And then totally separate today is gonna be Deanie. We're gonna give him on his 252 stroke a set of BRP rubber mounted clamps. We're gonna try those out, see what he thinks of them. He's, uh, why not? We have them, we're gonna test them and we like to do beta videos. We, so none of this stuff was um, really given to us. Boysen did help us out a little bit, but we paid for all this stuff. So it's not like, um, we're not trying to talk any of this up, so we're gonna give you honest reviews. So check out this video, but then check out our channel because there's gonna be four or five other videos. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so first video here, we're gonna do the Boys and Radvel video and I wanna showcase their products. So here we have the two options. This is the oil injected model. So in our cross trainer, we're actually not gonna run this. We're gonna run the regular because we're gonna pre-mix our bike for the races. So this is their new cage. It is so cool looking really well built. So this is their product and each case or each box comes with, this is one box here. So oil injected model, like I said, we're not going to use it, but I wanted to show it. So if you have a cross trainer and I don't mean to like, we're not hating on the oil injection, but for us doing racing and hard enduros, we don't want it. So we want the bike lighter. So this is the box that came in. It's got a little spacer here, multi gaskets, and then a couple stickers and new bolts. So the install of this is really simple. We will show that on Danny's bike. So this is the actual one right here that we're gonna stick in Danny's. And then here are some replacement uh, pedals that they sent, some new carbon fiber pedals there. So this is um, what we're gonna put right now on Danny's bike. All right, we got little Dan here. This is his 2022 250 Race Edition. It's got this stock V-Force rad valve cage in it now. And he's gonna go do two laps real quick with a stock cage, the bike's warmed up. That way we can get you guys some footage uh, before and after of us replacing it with the boys and stuff. So we're gonna turn the GoPro on. And so this will be, just so we can tell the GoPro, laps with V-Force. So go ahead and give it a couple laps. Right there.
we got little Dan's bike back over here. It's cooling down a little bit. So we just want to give you an update on how to do this. So we're going to loosen the subframe bolts. We've already got those out. So it's going to tip up. His exhaust has already been taken off. So I'll show you that. Oh, it's laying there on the grass. But this is the eight millimeter bolt that we pulled out of here. So the silencer came right off. And so the goal is we're going to try to tip his subframe up a little bit. I have done this on like Braxton's bike last week, actually that 85 over there. His uh, pedals all broke on his bike. And I actually did it. We already got these loose too as well, but just so you guys know the clamps on the, the carb. I actually was able just to pull back on the boot and slide the carb out, but I don't want to rip Danny's, Danny's air boot because he's doing really good this year and I don't want to hurt his bike. So um, we're going to tip this up just a little bit. We'll get the carb out of the way. Once the carb is out, we just have our four bolts that are holding the reed cage in. And you will see that the one is already removed because we didn't bring our tamper-proof bolt kit. Well, I have that kit, but it didn't have the right end in it and we were able to just break the pin out of the middle of it with a screwdriver and just use a regular um, Allen key at that point. So that's my recommendation for you guys at home. All we did is we had a regular screwdriver, kind of held it against it and doinked it and it broke the tab out of it. So tamper proof stuff we're not a fan of because we don't need it. So we're gonna, we're gonna get it out and get this out and we'll show you on the table here next. All right guys, here we go. We got the boys in set up about to go back in. And so this is the new shiny one here. And you can see it's a two pedal design and we're not super uh, techy on this stuff but to me that's two pedals two one on each side it's a dual stage so you can see the yellow one on the inside there and then here this is what just came out of Danny's. this is that v force four they've been good to us for a long time so i don't have any issues with them but this bike's like a, uh, two years old now and so these pedals are probably getting due for I guess you don't really replace them until they crack but braxton's 2021 husqvarna they were all chipped up on the corners I can't know if we can tell. No, it's not chipped up on the corners yet, so never know. So this is what came out of it, and it's not quite as smooth. So if we look down in here, you can kind of see there's like lips inside of there. And this one is super trick. Is look how smooth that is, the whole way right into the cage there. So super excited for Danny to put this on his bike. And what we're also doing at the same time is the boys and stuff wants us to put a different size jet in it. I should have been, is that a 165 by yep. chance? Yeah, see, there we go. So this is a 165 that just came out of it. Sorry, I can't make an iPhone focus. So that's a 165 and we're gonna put a 160 in it. It's really easy to do. We just pulled the bolt drain off the bottom and you can get to the main jet right there up underneath. So changing the jetting is not hard to do at this point because we already have it out. So we're gonna throw a new jet in, throw the new cage in and we're gonna give Danny some ride time and see what he thinks there. See if it sounds any different. Is it? <laughs> it sounds really good when you're going over the jumps. Yeah. So does it feel different? It, it might actually have like a little bit more right off the bottom. Either that or it's all in my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely sounds like when you're going over the jumps, it just has like a deeper tone to it. Yeah. 
I know your exhaust is cut off, but oh, yeah. like just listening to your bike earlier and then your bike now. It could be a combination of that, those reeds with that little bit of a jet chain. Yeah. Definitely it feels, I mean, it feels good right off the bottom. So if you guys are looking to replace your uh, your rad valve, uh, check out the boys and guys. They make an awesome product. I think like the whole unit itself is just really clean and crisp. Like the whole, there's no, as we were looking in the end of it, it was just so much cleaner for air to flow through. So Yeah, there's no, the stock one had like that big gap in the molding. Yeah. And that one, definitely nice smooth entry. So, all right guys, that's part one. That's our first video. Dean went out and tested for us. We're going to get our cross trainer done. We're not going to really talk about it uh, as far as the footage of how it works, but it's going to get its rad valve next. So stay tuned.